Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 2230, the channel where we delve into current events and hot topics from around the world. Today, we have a rather interesting and somewhat controversial topic to discuss a defamation lawsuit in Singapore involving prominent figures. In recent news, Tan Kin Lian, a former NTUC income chief and two-time presidential candidate in Singapore, has weighed in on a defamation lawsuit filed by two ministers from the People's Action Party, PAP, against Lee Shin Yang, the son of Singapore's founding father, Lee Kuan Yew. This legal battle has been making headlines and sparking debates, and Mr Tan's perspective adds another layer to the ongoing discussion. So, what's the story? Lee Shin Yong, in a social media post, made some serious allegations against the two ministers. He claimed that they had leased state-owned mansions from the agency that one of them controls, engaged in unauthorized tree felling, and received state-sponsored renovations. These allegations have been vehemently denied by the ministers in question, Law and Home Affairs Minister Mr. K. Shanmugam and Dr. Vivian Bolakrishnan, the Minister for Foreign Affairs. Now, Mr. Tan's take on this matter is quite intriguing. He argues that Li Xin Yang's remarks are quite mild when compared to the personal attacks he himself faced during his presidential campaign. He was labelled as racist and sexist by ex-Singapore diplomat Bilahari Kausikan. Mr. Tan believes that Li Xin Yang's words are factual and non-defamatory and suggests that the ministers withdraw their lawsuit to allow the public to make their own judgments. But why is this significant? Well, it's not just about a legal dispute between individuals. It's about freedom of speech, the right to express one's opinions, and the boundaries of defamation. It's also about public trust in political figures and the impact of such legal actions on Singapore's reputation. Now, we're not taking sides here, and we encourage a healthy discussion in the comments section. What are your thoughts on this defamation lawsuit in Singapore? Do you agree with Mr. Tan's perspective, or do you think the ministers have a valid case? Has freedom of speech been compromised in this situation? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, if you found this video informative and thought-provoking, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to 2230 for more in-depth analysis of current events. Your support means the world to us, and we'll keep bringing you content that matters. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video.